Hi, I'm Cliff Curry. I'm the superintendent of Red Bluff Elementary. I'd like to welcome students and parents back to our 23-24 school year. A few changes you guys are going to see around the district this year I wanted to focus on. We have a lot of construction pro projects going on. We're putting shade structures uh, in at the sites. Those shade structures are going to be over play areas and over areas where students can escape the sun. Um, so look for those projects to be happening. We have multiple building projects still going on across the district. So just know there may be some delays and some uh, work to be made, uh, work to be done in arranging pickup and drop off, especially at Jackson Heights. You'll see that uh, there's a lot of dirt being moved in the front of Jackson Heights. That is our last big bond project. Those buildings that are being constructed are nearing completion and uh, we will be hopefully opening that path in the front of the school as soon as possible. In the meantime, you'll see some changes in the flow of traffic. At all the other sites, there's gonna be things that are going on that may impact that. I just wanted parents to be aware of it. At the end of that process, we're gonna have better sites because of it. So thank you for your patience in dealing with that. Um, speak with your sites if you have specific questions related to that. Uh, they will be announcing any of the major changes and working with them. So uh, we're excited about the year. We saw some great things out of last year. We had some improvements in academics for students and we want those to continue. Uh, we need your help. So remember, uh, students need to be in their seats and ready to learn every day. And uh, to the extent that you can, please schedule doctor's appointments at the end of the day to minimize the impact on instruction. The kids can't learn if they're not sitting there. So part of the issue we have, I think, ongoing is making sure that our parents and our staff and our district as a whole are all on the same page. So we want to spend as much time as we can this year doing outreach with parents to ask them their opinion about things, but also to offer supports. And along those lines, we recently received a $5.7 million grant and we are creating wellness centers, one at each of the campuses. Those wellness centers, based on referrals from the site, will be assisting parents. They'll be reaching out to parents to offer services, whether it's mental, social, or emotional health, whether it's uh, medical uh, health or information. We're trying to create a place where parents can go to receive assistance, either direct assistance, or they will get assistance in getting some support from some of our partners in the community. This is a brand new thing. We're hoping that that has a positive impact for our families. So look for that coming forward during the new year. We'll be getting it ramped up this year, but when you hear about wellness centers, know that that's what it is. So we've got a lot of great things going on in the district that are gonna help you and your students move forward. We want the most successful academic outcome for your students that we can get. And I can tell you the teachers and the staff on those campuses are gonna be ready for your kids. So welcome back and we'll see you then.